What is going on guys? Monk7 Mad here today with the fantastic lava colour correction. And uh for those that are interested in just uh getting the colour correction, the link is in the description. Uh if you do download please leave a like so that I can tell you do like it. Um and I might make some more of these videos as well, so watch out for that on my channel. Okay, so for those that are in fact bugger off warning. Uh, sorry, for those that are interested in how to actually make the colour correction itself, I'm going to try and do this as quick as I can um, with as, as little jibber jabber as well. So, uh, first thing we want to do is create a group. So, go to the bottom. Now, most of the colour correction actually is based on gradient maps. So, the gradient map that we actually is mostly used is this one here. So, go to the little circle at the bottom, gradient map, um, and it's the original one that comes up, which should be um, black to white. Um, and what we need to do is we just need to change the blend mode and this is mostly what we're going to be doing for the whole video uh, it's just sort of getting the, the toning right so let's have the soft light on and we want to change the opacity to 70 because we don't want it to be uh, directly um, sort of too much okay now one thing that I do tend to experience with color corrections is the color does seem to sort of phase out so we need to protect the color in a way by going to vibrance and we need to make this uh, well, the one I, I used for this one was negative 70, but based on yours, you might need to sort of uh, adjust the bar um, differently, depending on um, what uh, sort of background image, how much light there is. Um, so now that we've done that, we also want to add another gradient map. I think there's a total of about six or seven gradient maps. Um, so again, same one here. Now this time we're going to change the blend mode to color dodge. And it's way too bright at the moment, so let's just make this 10%. Um, and in case any of you missed this, you can either go back and listen again, or you can look in the description. I've put a text uh, file in there explaining the actual uh, settings that I used as well. Okay, so now that we've done that, uh, there is going to be... Uh, we, we, we need one more. We need one more gradient map there. And uh, again, we're going to use the soft light. Um, we're going to put this to about... 35 um, so you can see the color is also coming back quite strong so if the vibrance wasn't there it'd just be a bit uh, too too much at the moment especially for sort of toning the colors of the gray here um, okay so next we need to add curves okay and all is very simple first line drag it down just a little bit just to give it some um, contrast so a very small line um, okay, so now that we've done that, we need a, another gradient map. Same thing again, uh, except this one we're going to change the blend mode to soft light again and the opacity to 10%. Okay, that's looking good. Um, now we actually need to give the thing color because it's still using the original green in my case. Uh, so the one that I actually prefer to use is the one of the ones from the from vintage gradients um, if you haven't got this I can put it in the description uh, if, if you'd like um, now at the moment it doesn't look too great um, so we're going to need to actually change it so that it is hue and what this does over over color you'll see color actually overlays over the whole thing whereas with hue we're only adjusting the actual light sources um, so please use hue um, and leave the opacity at 100 now at the moment the thing is looking pretty good color wise but it's also a bit too dull there's no color there and this is actually based on something um, which is CYM CYM CMY in this case it's CYMB but it's a uh, cyan magenta yellow and key CYMK um, I said that wrong cyan oh it doesn't matter Anyway, so we've got the cyan at the top, and that's the blue, and we want to just remove that. And if you actually pay close attention to this bit here, so the colour sort of come out a bit more. So that's good. This is what we want. This is exactly what we want. Okay, so now that we've done that, we need to add a levels just to give it uh, a bit more final contrasting. Uh, the only one I change in the levels in the middle is 0 0.95 instead of 1. The rest stay the same. And last but not least hue and saturation give it a saturation boost probably about 70 yeah 70 is looking pretty damn sweet um, so that is actually the color correction complete okay so I'm gonna wrap the video up there I don't want to keep you too much longer um, so if you want to know how to make any of this so the actual effect of the glows etc 
let me know in the comment section below and uh, I will make a video tutorial for that. Thank you for watching guys, hope that you've enjoyed the video, enjoy the colour correction, head over to my channel for more, thank you guys, have a tremendous day and as always, take care.